Hello YouTube, Dark Maven 1976 here with another video. In this video I will be going over my convention fun at SakuraCon 2017. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So this year, SakuraCon turned 20. And that's a big milestone for any convention, so I decided to go. Plus, Yaya Han was going to be there, and I wanted to meet her. At the end of this video, I'll show you what I bought, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. So this year, I brought three costumes, Princess Serenity, Kaoru, and Yuna. And I will tell you about Princess Serenity first. I wore her the first day. And I also met Yaya Han, as you can see. I got her ears, and I got a couple of pictures with her. So excited. So nice. She was shorter than I thought she'd be. But, <laughs> anyway, as I wore Princess Serenity, I also brought my moon stick. And actually used my moon stick as a prop. But the problem is, um, it broke. Yeah fell off it fell off the uh, bench when I was sit down sitting down and relaxing and it kind of broke so <laughs> I get to remake it um, I did go to the cosplay repair station and they temporarily fixed it as you can see they did a little glue so it got through the rest of the day but it's pretty much a disaster it needs to be redone uh, bad thing is I need to redo it. The good thing is I get to redo it. Better, hopefully. <laughs> so on day two, I wore Kaoru, which is one of the most comfortable cosplays I have. Just because it is a kimono, the only drawback is the shoes, which are, uh, uh <laughs> how do I describe them? They look like flip-flops, but they're not flip-flops, really. They're just, uh, traditional Japanese shoes, which I can't pronounce, and sorry if I can't. And we got some pictures. I got a picture with Bato Sai, also known as Kenshin, before he became Kenshin. Yeah, that was pretty special. And I also went into the photo booth that they, they have there and got pictures of that. I got like three of them. It was fun. I enjoy wearing Garu a lot. So on the third day, it was Yuna, which I totally love. Uh, also the most popular of my cosplays, simply from all the photos people kept asking me to pose for. I also had a professional photo shoot with Silver Fry Studios, and that was really fun. Um, as for comfort, this costume is very comfortable if not hard to get into. I had to have my husband help me. It was not fun trying to put on all the parts and make sure everything looked good and <sighs> I accidentally put the Obion upside down which we noticed that in the parking garage when he put, tried to put on the butt back though, my husband. And, and yeah, and that was not fun. But the photo shoot was, even though I almost fell off of fountain. <laughs> there was this uh, one part of the photo shoot we decided to go onto this large tall fountain that was turned off for the convention in this park by the convention center and um, it was on a very high place and <laughs> I almost got dizzy and almost fell off of this thing while trying to get awesome photos very popular spot to get photos for you know like a dystopian photo shoot or whatever I know on the bottom of the fountain because the fountain was not on and there was no water in it there was a uh, black widow photo shoot going on so that was pretty cool and the fun thing about this photo shoot was well we were getting ready for the next shot on the fountain this young girl came up and I don't know why I did that but whatever came up and timidly asked me for my picture she was like um, excuse me 
Is it okay if I take a picture of you? <laughs> and of course I said sure, because my photographer was getting set up for the next shots and we weren't quite ready yet, so I let her take a picture. And it was so cute the way she said it. I just, it was one of the highlights of the con. So this year we went to more panels than last year. Last year, most of the panels we went to were full or uh, were canceled or whatever came up. But this year we went to, we, we hit all the panels that I wanted to hit. Like the Yu Yu Hakusho panel. That was pretty sweet. Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho is up there on my favorite animes list. So we went into the panel and we we're talking about our favorite episodes. And we had even had a Kurama cosplayer, which Kurama, if, <laughs> if you haven't noticed, is one of my favorite uh, characters. One of my first crushes from anime. Besides uh, Kenshin. And when I was talking about how uh, Kurama was one of my favorite cosplays, or not cosplays, but characters, the co Kurama cosplayer sat up and was like, hi. <laughs> it, was, it was cool. I, I was overwhelmed with happiness. Then we went to a wig panel, which was about basic wig care, basic wig uh, styling, where she got her wigs, mostly from eBay, what she was telling us. Um, she kept playing this game, where did I get this wig? And I just wanted to know about how to style wigs, what she used to detangle wigs. Yeah. <laughs> but she got there eventually. It, it was just a slow start, but it was a good panel. I learned a lot about wig care and wig uh, styling techniques, which I will probably use in the future styling. So the next two panels I went to was uh, Mon Mononoke, not Princess Mononoke, but Mononoke panel about the TV show Mononoke. Apparently after the movie came out, there was a short uh, episodic TV show, and it was interesting. I <laughs> I enjoyed it, but I didn't understand all of it, which is why it's hard for me to explain what it was about. Uh, I was talking about the demons and ghosts and whatnot, and it was complicated but nice. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. In the second one, the other one was the, about the 47 Ronin, the true story of the 47 Ronin, and not the Keanu Reeves bullcrap movie. Um, basically, it was based on true events, the 47 Ronin, and it was interesting. It taught me a lot about the history of why they actually did it, and I, me and my husband thoroughly enjoyed it. So I'm sorry if this video runs a little long. Um, I have a lot to talk about about my convention experience, and let's just move on to the things I bought now, like these cat ears. I bought them at the Yaya Han booth, where she was actually there, and I got to meet her. I got a picture with her and talked to her about um, Heroes of Cosplay and how that inspired me to make my own cosplay. I told her how grateful I am that she was there. Uh, she was really nice. She's very personable and um, short too, about five foot. But after I talked to her, I felt obligated to buy some cat ears from her booth and uh, made my husband wear most of <laughs> them for the rest of the convention. Um, <laughs> minus the little ribbons you can take them off but yeah I enjoy these little cat ears myself we'll probably use them in a cosplay maybe I don't know we'll figure it out so the next thing I bought was something I always wanted and that was this Kigurumi it's gloomy bear I thought it was awesome I was going to buy Lilo and Stitch Kigurumi or Stitch Kigurumi but 
I saw this and knew I had to have this one because it's more me than Stitch. <laughs> um, I always wanted a Kikurumi, but uh, online they're expensive, plus you have to pay for shipping and handling. This was about $70, which you know me, I save up throughout the year for my cosplay. And yeah, I'm excited. I love this. Uh, I wore it after I got got back to the hotel and we're just chilling and we weren't going anywhere so I'm like I'll throw this on after I take off my costume and it was awesome. I'll probably wear it often, you know, when I'm feeling like I don't want to wear clothes <laughs> or lazy or whatever. But it's very comfortable and very warm and I'm happy that I got it. So the next thing I bought was this Yu-Gi-Oh figure, which is my first figure. I have Fungo Pop, but not real figures like this. Um, it was the last figure there. I bought Yu-Gi-Oh because I loved the anime when I was younger. Uh, I wouldn't say it was one of my favorite animes, but I enjoyed it thoroughly. And I did have a crush on Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> when his hair is like this. Um, <laughs> I never played the card game, but that's just because I was never good at the card games. But I enjoyed the anime. So let's open it up. Take a look at it. <laughs> ah, plastic everywhere. And apparently, apparently a piece of cardboard. Alright, so this is what he looks like. He does have his stand, it's in a box, and it's just him standing there looking cute and awesome, and yeah, can't wait to display him. Don't know where I'm going to put him, but I will find a spot for you, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm chuffed. <laughs> so the last thing I bought came with this lovely backpack. It says Pocky. I love Pocky. And it was a couple of pop and cooking stuff. Um, I wanted to try the sushi one. Uh, the instructions are thankfully in English this time. I bought one that wasn't in English. It was, uh, I think, the donut one. And I also got this, uh, I think it's ice cream or tenoshi cakes. Don't know how to pronounce it, but that looks interesting. And I bought two of them and they came with this backpack and I'm looking forward to making them. I'll let you know how they turn out. And that's it for what I bought at the anime convention this year. So that was Softicon this year. I had lots of fun, met lots of interesting people like Yaya Han who is very nice and uh, Silver Fry Studios who did my Yuna picture. Hopefully I'll have them up soon. If you want to see some of my convention photos, you can go to my DeviantArt page, which the link will be down below. Um, yeah, I look forward to next year, where I'll have different cosplays, maybe different experiences, and I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you want to see more of what I bought or want to hear more convention stories, Feel free to also leave a comment down below. Also, I'll have my email and my DeviantArt page so you can see my photos. And until next time, my cosplay friends, cosplay safe and have a wonderful day.